Well, right now all you see is a box with a vacuum cleaner poking out. Let's quickly turn the lights on. Because today is a sort of special video because we're unboxing my new Mila S7, yes, yeah. But we're also doing the Q&A, so I've got a couple of questions jotted down here. Um, see, there we go. And I've got a couple on YouTube, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first part of what I bought on eBay, because who doesn't go on an eBay spits, um, sell it, whatever, buying spree. Um, then I'll give you the first parts of the questions. Then, once I show you the vacuum I bought, I'll do the YouTube part. So, first of all, what did I get from eBay? Well, I bought some of these Eco Air Henry bags, because they're actually not horrific. Quite good for juniors, I suppose, but they're okay in Henry's as well, as long as you're not using them for massively fine dust. So I got five of them for about three quid. That's pretty nice. And they're quite big as well. So, this is from the seller of Tat K. Smith. Um, this Di um, Mila, well I nearly said Dyson because there was Dyson tools as well. So apparently we have unused Dyson tools and they're quite old. So here we've got the shell of the flexi crevice tool and the flexi bit of the flexi crevice tool. So how does that go together? Like that I think, is it? Yep there we are, so we've got the flexi crevice tool, it's a bit stiff, it's Hermes driver left it out in the porch and it's cold in the porch. That bit comes off for reasons I can't remember. But yeah, actually that does look quite unused. These were a bargain. These were like 8 quid. But then they combined the postage with this. Because I bought from the same time. We also have the little brush for the crevice tool. So you can actually use it like a normal crevice tool. Or you can use it as a flexi one. Now I have the modern flexi crevice tool um, with the click button but I got this because you can use it on friction fit vacuums. Um, we have the older style soft dust and brush, okay. Okay, it was passed as unused but that is clearly used but I don't care. They were like four quid. See, one can you really complain. Nice and soft, the bristles are intact. And then we also have the stiff bristle brush. Only thing I can see is it doesn't have the little thing that the other ones have. This little adapter. Why has it got this bit? Is that because... I can't remember actually if I'm honest. There we go. So if we need that wee bit of pong coming from these tools. That. Yeah, they smell a wee bit musty. But apart from that, nothing a bit of soapy water won't fix, of course. So anyway, there's my unused haha <laughs> Dyson tools. So the first part of the Q&A, which you're going to be sitting looking at the Mila S7 for a minute. Well, I'll just shut the bag door so you can see the glossy red finish. Um, what have we got? Our first question comes from the VAC Matt. And he says, <clears throat> My question is, can you perhaps do an auction blog or go to boot sales with a face reveal? Thanks for the hard work, Mila or Siebel, you decide. Well, quite obviously here... I decide Mila, so Mila it is. Thank you for the hard work, no problem. Uh, plenty more videos to come. Now, an auction blog or a boot sale with a face reveal. Um, I don't go to boot sales, there's not really any near me here. Um, not a lot, which is a bit depressing because you see all those other collectors getting good boot sale finds and I don't get any, but nah, I probably won't go to a boot sale anytime soon. Well, certainly not with a face reveal if I do. And an auction blog. Now there is obviously the auction house near me where I get a lot of my vacuums from. Would I do a vlog there? Well, probably not. Everybody would think I'm a nutcase filming myself talking about vacuums. And it's a public space. And to be honest, making videos in a public space isn't a great idea. So no, I wouldn't. But thank you for asking, Matt. Shout out to Vac Matt. Uh, Lift Rail Photography NNZ asks, I saw your Q&A announcement, I have a few questions. How many vacuums do you have? What's your favourite vacuum? What's your favourite pneumatic vacuum? And what's your favourite Mila vacuum? Okay, so how many vacuums do I have? Um, probably in the middle of 70 and 80, 
so probably about 75 mark, which is quite a few actually, isn't it? What's my favourite vacuum? I don't really have a favourite vacuum. I do have a favourite pneumatic vacuum though, and that's of course the Henry. Um, my favourite Miele vacuum, probably the Miele S5, especially the black one. The black Miele S5, I always think they're pretty nice. Um, we have well, a quick shout out to Danny in this while I remember, so hello Danny, um, I didn't write that one down. Uh, Kiza Games, yo man it's me Kieran, what made you so interested in Hoovers and give me a shout out and tell your fans what I do. So, hello Kieran, subscribe to Kiza Games by the way, that's spelled C-I-A-Z-Z-A-A -A Games. And Kieran does Fortnite and GTA. Um, between you and me, I've no idea what Fortnite is. Um, so what made me so interested in Hoover as well? Well, I think it was the Henry we had. We had the Henry when I was growing up. And of course, that smiley face, it probably got me interested. Then I got my own vacuum and wow, it really took off. So, yeah, I suppose it's just because I had a Henry when we were younger. Yeah. Very nice vacuums, Henry's. So shout out to Kiza Games. Um, we have another from Dyson Vacuumer 35. How is your silver pneumatic and how is the DC44 after getting the Dyson V6? Um, how is the silver pneumatic? It's fine. It's the same, really. It's the silver pneumatic. Chrome, I'd call it. Um, how is the DC44 after getting the V6? Well, I don't have the DC44. I sold that um, partly to recoup what I spent on the V6. So the V6 is a huge improvement on the DC44 though. It's a huge improvement. Um, works so much better. The V8 is an even bigger improvement on the V6 alone. So there you go. So it dogs lying on these uh, Henry bags. Um, yeah, so the DC44 is kind of a bit pathetic once you compare it to the V6. Still very good, but not as good as the V6, if you know what I mean. Blake the Scott. Hey, I would love a shout out, please. Shout out to Blake the Scott. He's on Instagram. Uh, he's got a couple of Mila vacuums, so follow him if you're on Instagram. That's Blake the Scott. So, I shall now... Um, we'll go on YouTube and get the Q&A, other part of the Q&A soon. But here's the new S7, so let's pull it out of the box. Well, I say box. It's a load of cardboard wrapped round it. <sighs> there we go. So, there's all the cardboard. And, oh, one thing I've just spotted. There is damage. Um, first things first. We'll start down low. Let's go into handheld mode a second. By just doing the tripod so it is pretty battered it was very cheap but a lot of the finish is coming off again after a good clean up it'll look better but to be honest I am going to be ramming this thing around because with, with a Mila 7 I tend to not be careful I'm only really interested in how well it works um, in here amongst a lot of carbon dust we've got a genuine Mila HEPA filter with carbon in it it's quite alright. It's a bit carbony, but we'll chuck a filter out of my S7 in. No bag in it, so I can't tell if it's been used with genuine bags, and it does look like it's filled with soot. Um, oh my word, that is a bit sooty. But a good clean should sort that, as long as the motor's working fine. I'll give that a good clean, chuck some clean filters in it. And there we go. However, the cord hook is broken which is pretty annoying because I do, of course, wrap the cable up on mine. So, anybody out there, can you take these off? Because, of course, I've got a, an intact Mila 7, but the height, um, the standing up bit's a bit iffy on it. Um, it's quite stiff. There's a generic crevice tool on it. Um, and the bit of trim back here is missing. I've seen that a lot and it doesn't seem to affect the performance or anything. Obviously, it's a bit stiff and everything. It has been out in the cold in the porch. Here we've got the brush roll, which 
Uh, it's not too worn. I wouldn't say it's too worn. It should work fine. Yeah, it's quite a worn base plate. Wonder how well it works. And oh, this is quite interesting. Oh wow, the, the, my opinions of this particular Meal S7 have just changed because we've got. Oh wow, this Meal S7 is number 187 only for demonstration. So this is actually a demo Mila S7. So, oh wow. It's not actually got a proper number, it's just S7000. Deary me, so we've actually got a, a demo Mila S7. How on earth K. Smith got a hold of it? I have no idea. Um, yeah, that's all a bit stiff. So, oh, well, I'll hang on to this then. Because it is, in fact, quite an early Meal S7. Very, very early. Um, so we have a demo Meal S7. Um, but then I, I don't think... Because it's got a model number here. But underneath it just said S7000. So is it... Is it built out of a couple? I've no idea. Um, has got the light on it, I believe. Whether it works or not, who knows? Um, so we have a lot more questions on YouTube. So give me a second while I load them up. So questions on YouTube. Um, we'll start with pneumatic rule twenty nine. Which pneumatic do you wish to find in the future? And that would be a cream and brown Henry, which is what I would like to find. Um, and a 1980s Henry, uh, a HVC or just one with a cable rewind, but from the 80s. Uh, Bubba's Vacuums asks, how many vacuums do you have? I answered that, about 75. BMX200 asks, would you ever buy a V8? Well, I just bought the V6, so I can't say yet. However... The one thing that really annoys me on the Dyson V6 is um, the shroud gets really dirty and it's a nightmare to empty it, so a V8 would be actually quite good. Um, Colmy, spelled C-O-L-M-Y, asks, Yo man, it's me, Colm, can I have a shout out? Thanks. So shout out to Colm and his channel is Colmy, um, another gaming channel, of course. We have the Hoover Guy 101. Uh, quite a big shout out to Hoover Guy 101. He's just started YouTube. He's got a pretty good collection, I would say. Um, he asks if you had to pick to save one vacuum in a fire, what would it be? Now, part of me says I would grab my Mila S7, my cream one, or I would grab a Henry. Um, I would probably grab the Mila S7, and I know I'm a huge pneumatic fan, but I would grab the Mila S7 because it's an all in one, does everything really well you know vacuum and our last question is from Tom O'Brien um, he asks what was your first vacuum you ever got would you ever do a face reveal can I have a shout out what is your favorite Dyson if you could only keep one vacuum what would it be and how often do you find trash finds so trash finds I don't get them very often the last one that I got was that DC24 which actually worked out quite well. I gave it a wipe over and sold it for 50 quid a couple of days later after fitting a cable because it worked fine. That was good, but I don't get trash finds very often. It'd be a couple a year, not a lot. Um, if you could only keep one vacuum, what would it be? Again, I'm going to say the Mila S7, like I answered uh, Hoover Guy 101. Uh, what is your favourite Dyson? Probably the DC04. I very much like the DC4 because they're well built, they've got good suction and the parts are quite cheap for them. Can I have a shout out? Yes you can. Shout out to Tom O'Brien. Um, would you ever do a face reveal? Hmm, you'll have to wait and see. And what was your first vacuum you ever got? Well, I, uh, it would be an, uh, I don't know if you remember, I still have it, the Electrolux Power Plus I have. No, I've been that actually. The silver little cylinder. Well, I got one of them as my first vacuum, but it was light blue. Um, and I, I've got photos of me when I was, like, tiny using that. That was actually quite fun, that little Electrolux. So that would be my first vacuum. Um, so I think that's it. We're uh, actually sitting at 423 subscribers. So I suppose that's us at 400 now.
thank you all for the support um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you to all the questions we got and uh, yeah thank you for watching